what's going on everyone? Welcome to this week's grocery haul and meal prep. I'm again in my sister's kitchen. Not my own kitchen. I'm dog sitting their little puppy who's making his way over here right now. Chewy, what you up to? Not much. So, dog sitting. So I'm gonna prep here. That looks good. All right, bro, get up out of here. So, that's what I'm doing, and I'm just gonna prep here. But anyways, getting into this week's groceries. Let's start over here. I have two cartons of the Almond Breeze almond milk. Two cartons, it'll be for the smoothies as well as the breakfast shake, protein shake. I have, ooh, that's glass. I have some zesty dill pickles for the tuna sandwiches. I'm doing tuna sandwiches again this week. I love the tuna sandwiches. I don't know what else to tell you. I love them. So I keep going. And I have 10 packets of the chunk light tuna in the uh, a little package instead of the can. It's just easier to open. I got tired of the can, so just laziness, I guess. Then. I have some soy sauce. This is gonna be used for a marinade this week. I'm actually gonna marinate something. I have you know, a little over, about five, I think it's about five pounds of broccoli. So I'm doing broccoli again this week. I love broccoli. It's just one of my, it's honestly one of my favorite vegetables when you, when I, you know, bake it in the oven. So that's why I do broccoli a lot. Classic fruit medley for the smoothies. And then I have some frozen blueberries for my bedtime snack. And here's the dog. Um, where is that? Oh. So I have a large container of small curd cottage cheese. I have a large container of 4% cottage cheese. I have some egg whites this week, a large container of egg whites. So I'm gonna do one egg with, uh, I'm not sure. Took a bag. With, I'm gonna have to stop that. With one, I'm not sure how many servings yet, I'll have to figure it out, of the egg whites. I have some 100% um, whole wheat bread for the tuna sandwiches. Then I have the six large eggs for breakfast, one egg for breakfast. I have the tin cans this week. They were buy two, get one free. So I have, these are all four packs. I have three different four packs of these tin pans. Did you stop? I have two, four, six Greek light yogurts for the smoothie. Bananas, also for the smoothie. Whoops, ripped the sticker off. I bought a lemon this week, so I'm also going to be using this for some seasoning, so you'll have to watch the actual prep. And then I bought some fresh cilantro. It's getting crazy up in here, I know. I'm, I'm broadening my horizons, I'm adding more variety. So I got some fresh cilantro, so you're gonna have to wait and see again what I do with it. So make sure you watch the actual prep portion. Stop taking the bag, bro. There's a receipt. All right, since it is Saturday, I don't have any meals left. All my prep meals are gone. So I have these kebabs. These are beef kebabs. And then I also have some chicken kebabs. So that is gonna be for today and tomorrow for some meals. There's the receipt. And then I also went to Fresh Time this week, so I went to both Kroger and Fresh Time. You, you have a piece of bag stuck to your face. You look like an idiot. Um, I have, which kind is this? I can't remember, uh, where is it? Oh, sweet chili pork chop, so three of them. And then I have some black pepper pork chop, three of these. 
that'll be for lunch. And then something else different yet again. No chicken this week. I have some flank steak. Two packages of flank steak. So you're gonna have to watch the prep to see what I do with it, but this week is gonna be different. I'm excited for it. I think it's gonna taste good. How the bags taste, dog? Pretty good? I bet. All right, that's all the food though. Let's look at the receipts. So, this one comes out to Kroger. Came out to 85.34. To focus in, there we go. Wait, there. Kroger came out to 85.34. And then Fresh Time came out to 35.74. So, a little more expensive this week. I bought some tin pan, a lot of tin pans. Um, the meats are different, so it's gonna cost a little bit more, but that's fine, because it's gonna taste really good. And now it's just time to get to the prep. Real quick before I get into this week's meal prep, I didn't have to buy a few things, so I wanna make that clear. I didn't have to buy rice this week because I had some leftover from last week. I didn't have to buy oatmeal because I bought that large one two or three weeks ago, so I still have plenty of oatmeal left. I have apples left, I have extra virgin olive oil left. So those are things that, you know, I didn't buy this week because I bought them in bulk, or not really in bulk, but I bought them larger so that I didn't need to buy them every single week because when you buy the larger quantity, usually it's cheaper. So I wanted to make that clear, that's why I didn't buy those items, but you will see them. So hope that helps clarify a few things. All right, starting with my post-workout meal, I have one cup of rice with seven ounces of the flank steak 
and one to one and a half cups of broccoli. I have five of those meals. And then I have about a half a cup of brown rice, four ounces of the pork chop, and one to one and a half cups of the broccoli. And this meal, uh, it was too small, so I had to add some flank steak to it. But all the other meals are the same. I'm tired again. It's late. It's late again. But some of you might be, you know, looking at the the flank steak and saying that it's a little bit undercooked or rare or medium rare. So I used the the heat thermometer and it said it was at about a medium temp. So it's fine with me and and honestly I don't want to overcook the beef or the the, the flank steak because I'm going to be reheating those meals, those post-workout meals on the stove this week, so I'm not going to reheat them in the microwave and it's really going to almost re not cook them but in a sense, it's kind of going to cook them again because I'm going to heat them up on the stove with extra virgin olive oil and it's going to bring some more flavor back and it'll cook them a little bit more. But it's also going to leave them a little bit more tender, so that's why I went that route. I didn't want to overcook it this week. And I, it was my first time ever making it, so I would just have to make improvements next time if I want to cook it a little bit longer. So you live, you learn, you figure it out. That's what happens when I try to prep new things. Sometimes I don't get it right. I've said this so many times that I don't always get these preps right. It just happens that way. And then I also got the new rice cooker that you guys saw. That thing is pretty cool. So it's the rice cooker, it's a steamer, and it's a slow cooker as well. So, and honestly why I wanted that rice cooker is because the other one was too small. It would like, the rice would come out mushy. So this way it has more room to cook and it just comes out better. I will be doing a full day being video this week for this meal plan so you guys can see how I reheat some of these meals. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know. Feedback is always welcome and it always helps to make these videos better. And also, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos like this. And that's all I have. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed.